What is up, Bros and Barrettes? Let's go ahead and get it out of the way. COD points. Yes, they are in Black Ops 3 now, and yes, they are a way of buying supply drops, and yes, you are probably mad about it, but that's not what we're here to talk about today. Well, we're going to talk about it a little bit, but mainly we're going to talk about that tomorrow. Um, COD points are here, and they're here to stay, and basically you pay for them, you can buy between 200 and 5,000, and you can buy supply drops and things for zombies with them. Yes, you knew this was coming. I don't know why everyone is surprised about this. You could see it coming a mile away, and this patch basically revolves around that and that only, but we're going to talk about everything that changed, and there's actually mostly good changes in my opinion. So COD points are basically a new currency, and you can buy supply drops with them. That's really all you need to know. Aside from that, nothing is too special, to be honest with you. But I'm going to show you anything every... I tried talking there, but it didn't work. So, we're going to start off over here. There's a quick join menu. This is really cool. Uh, you can press on someone's name. You can join, and th that's pretty much that. Uh, if your matchmaking didn't work, if you couldn't join a friend's lobby about one to two days ago. It should be fixed now. It was because of this patch. They were trying out some stuff with it, I guess. But also, public match, if we go here... Black market. Yes, there's new shit in the black market. So basically, I already burned my duplicates. I don't know why I did it. I wasn't recording. Stupidest thing ever, but I'll explain it. But first of all, uh, there's a difference between common and rare supply drops now. So if you look here, there's an increased chance of legendary and epic. This was there before, but um, apparently it's to a further extent now. Also, um, you're guaranteed a weapon or specialist item. I'm pretty sure... It was like that before, it just didn't say it. And on top of that, apparently you can also get crypto keys in the supply drop. So basically you can win your supply drop back while opening it, which is a little silly. So basically you get two items and some crypto keys, I guess. Also, recently acquired items. This is awesome. This is probably my favorite thing that they added. You can see the things you recently opened. The one thing they don't have, let's say we go to the monochrome here for the KRM. You can't enlarge it. I wish you could enlarge the card and actually look at the gun because... This gun, the camo, moves. The monochrome moves. And you can't see that in the card, but if you could enlarge it and actually look at the gun, maybe you could see that. And I think that would be a really cool thing to add in. Also, burn duplicates. So normally here off to the left, it says how many duplicates you have. So let's say, let's say before I had six common and one rare. So then, as you can see, I had 53 crypto keys before, and then after I burned them, it brought me to 62. So for... Six common and one rare, it gave me nine crypto keys. So a little bit of a ripoff, but once you have epics, it's based on how rare the item is, and you can get more and more crypto keys based on those duplicates. So that's cool. I think that's that stuff's all really cool. Like I said, I want to see you be able to enlarge these camos. I think that would be really, really cool. And then there's some other new stuff. So if we go to create a class and go to knives, yes, knives, there is new knives in the game. There's a butterfly knife, there's a wrench, and there is brass knuckles. So way to steal this out of Counter-Strike. Like, this is literally right out of Counter-Strike. They might as well have wrote the other game's name across the butterfly knife. That's how ridiculous it is. But, I mean, if something's good in a game, why not bring it into another game, I guess. Uh, so that stuff's new. Also, there is new uh, black market red dot sites, which is pretty cool. New reticles you can use, 17 of them. And there's also new character gear, there's new taunts, and all of that stuff. So everything, as you can see, kind of revolving around these COD points, causing you to buy or earn more supply drops. So it's good. Um, I, I think it's a little frustrating, the whole COD points thing. But like I said, we're going to talk about that more tomorrow. I'm going to have a big old commentary for you about that. Uh, but what else? What else? Is there anything much more that's new? So one main thing is some stuff in the theater mode here so basically you can now use a dolly cam and you can create a highlight reel that's the basic updates for that there isn't too many in-game changes because they can make most of those with hot fixes um, so that's good but what I'm wondering this is the, the one question I'll leave with you for the comment section below is there gonna be wager matches coming to this game because that would be really really cool so let me know what you think in the comment section below if you found this video informative a like rating would be super greatly appreciated I tried to make it as quick and to the point as possible so if you enjoyed that go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe for new Call of Duty videos every single day we're gonna be talking about COD points tomorrow so stay tuned for that and uh, yeah thanks for watching guys and until next time peace out